Now that we've seen how the asset framework works, how we're able to integrate into it, next up, we're gonna be taking a look at LifeRay's search framework. So LifeRay's search framework is run generally by a external search engine. In LifeRay's case, our default is Elastic, but we also support Solar. So all of the contents that we are going to be sending off to the search engine to have it indexed is going to be indexed within an index document or just a document for short. So we're gonna take all of the content items within our model entity and convert it to something that our search engine understands so that it can generate that index document before the actual indexing is done. Right, so this can be done, or this is done based off of the entity, and we do have the ability to configure these things. So in order to do this, we're gonna have an indexer. Uh, the indexer is a component that extends the base indexer class. Uh, this is going to be in the same module as our service layer. So you can probably see it gradebook uh, service, for example. So how do we make a custom entity searchable? So we have an assignment, for example, and we wanna be able to search for that assignment. So what we need to do is create the indexer for our entity. We'll update the service layer so that the index is updated whenever our assignment is updated. And then we can do a little bit more if we want a custom UI to um, fully leverage our entity search. So let's go ahead and we'll integrate our gradebook application into LifeRay's search engine. This is gonna be our main objective so that we can search for our assignments using LifeRay's default search. So steps, create that indexer, and then we're gonna deploy and test this out. So this will be over in the gradebook service. So let's head over and take a look at that. 